Hey everybody, Professor Snark checking in. As we continue to transition from the um, fiction portion of our intro to creative writing course into the creative nonfiction, um, which Unit 6 was getting us into, and Unit 7 kind of continues that transition, as we um, continue to think about the relationship of creative nonfiction, which is that um, sometimes kind of gray area blend of fiction writing, but also writing about the truth or things that have actually happened. Um, and so we have another set of interviews here uh, and readings that are um, kind of neat because they're local here to COD, uh, but again, introduce so many of the kind of complexities or things that are worth thinking about in terms of how fiction and creative nonfiction are related and what are some of the similarities and what are some of the differences. So that gives us a little more background, a little more food for thought. And then the assignment for this um, unit is kind of a uh, neat one because it borrows from this very famous series that's been along, around for a long time. It's uh, um, called This I Believe, and you may have run into it before. Um, it airs on NPR every once in a while. Um, but like I said, it has a very long history, and I'm just going to click myself into the website here. Um, but this is a nice exercise that has its own kind of guidelines and, you know, sort of genre requirements, but is a very nice example of creative nonfiction. So it's people telling not their own life story exactly, but something that's sort of truthful about themselves, but obviously presenting it in a way that has some kind of literary value or something that's intrinsically interesting with the use of language which is, of course, what creative nonfiction shares with fiction and other more uh, creative or, um, uh, it's almost like you run out of words to say, I don't want to say untrue genres, but ones that aren't based in things that necessarily have actually exactly happened. Um, even that sounds stupid. So the trying to define these things gets you into all kinds of muddy waters that you really don't want to be in. But anyway, the This I Believe exercise. So you're writing a This I Believe statement, and it's very important to read the guidelines here. So it's not just, um, I'm not just asking you to tell me what your belief in life is. Um, this is actually a, an established kind of tradition here um, that's based on this the This I Believe series that um, you know anyone can submit to, and when it airs on the radio, they'll often play ones that have been submitted, you know, just by regular folks, people who are professional writers or not, or professional in some other capacity or not. Um, but it has a specific kind of um, format here that we're looking for. Now, you're not submitting your work to the series here. You're just writing it and submitting it for us through, through our class. That's not to say, though, that if you really feel like you've produced a strong This I Believe essay, um, and you want to work on it further, that you couldn't, in fact, submit it, you know, officially through the website here and see what happens. Uh, but just to be clear, even though we're using this format and these guidelines, you're not actually submitting to the this I believe website. So, um, so the guidelines are very succinct here, but it's important that you get this right uh, because it's easy to do this incorrectly. Um, so this I believe statement can mean sort of anything to anybody, but again, we're working in this very sort of specific format here. Uh, and it's, it's, the website here is nice because the guidelines are very straightforward. And of course, they've collected, you know, all of these probably millions or certainly thousands of submissions by people over the years. Um, and so I'm inviting you to read some of them. I have provided a link in our in our um, course to one that I think is a, a good model for us to follow, but certainly you don't have to follow the subject matter. It's more the, the tone or the style, the approach. And what you'll notice about, you know, the, the example, what's being asked in the guidelines, any other examples that you read, is that fundamentally the This I Believe series is an exercise in creative nonfiction. It's writing in an interesting way, but about the truth, things that have actually happened or things that are, um, you know, actually true for what you believe about the world or your experience of the world. So it's a really nice um, kind of contained and fairly well, well organized 
and again, the guidelines are very clear, it's a nice sort of introduction into this style of writing that despite the fact that it should be fairly easy for people because you're fundamentally writing about yourself, the truth about yourself, um, is one of the most difficult to write in. In fact, one of the most elusive because it does bridge or, or participate in so many different genres, whether it's short fiction, long fiction, uh, and then sort of reporting the facts. Um, it exists in this space that's kind of some of each of those things. So on some, on one level, it's an easy kind of writing to do. On another, it's really one of the most difficult. But this, I believe, exercise, um, I think, provides a nice uh, contained kind of format for us to follow as we get into um, the, the creative nonfiction part of the course. And in fact, get closer to uh, Unit 8, which will be um, the, uh, the next workshop we've got for the course in creative nonfiction. So again, one thing that I've mentioned before that is good to keep in mind is that um, we have a, a workshop upcoming, which means that you probably want to be thinking about and, and writing your own, your workshop piece now rather than waiting and just doing it, you know, within the unit eight or whatever workshop unit it happens to be. So unlike other units where you can sort of do that work just as part of the unit, for a workshop you really want to be kind of working in advance so that you've given yourself enough time to write something that you're proud of that sh reflects some professional effort in terms of editing and revising. Um, and of course, conforms to the genre that we're in, which is, again, not fiction exactly and not reporting exactly, but somewhere kind of in the middle of those two. Um, okay, so hopefully you have fun with the This I Believe essay. It is kind of a, an interesting exercise, if nothing else. And uh, keep in mind that we're getting closer to our next workshop, so be sure you're on top of that. If you have any questions or concerns, as always, just be in touch.